my name is Diana Naimok and um, I've been in Woodridge for 41 years and I come from uh, St. Paul's Mission, Mower Island in Torres Strait. Um, hi, my name is Pamela Banu. Um, I'm mum's daughter and um, yeah, my descendants are from St. Paul's um, Mission, Mower Island and I'm happily married to Gabriel Banu from Buigo Island. NAIDOC week for us is very significant as um, one of the indigenous um, people of this country being Torres Strait Islanders. Um, it gives us the time um, to share our, our culture and um, to teach the significance of it and um, to also pass it on to the younger generation which we do um, on everyday basis anyway. Um, but NAIDOC week it's more putting it out there to the wider community. language that's been taught and how you speak to your your child um, it's important for them to know I've always looked up to my dad and um, he's a very strong man um, um, taught us well taught us to believe in ourselves and to always put your head up high and smile you know um, always put, um, reach your goals, um, who you want to become. And he was a very strong um, Torres Strait Islander man. And now that my dad's not with us, um, I have my mum that I believe in also that made me, she's the rock of our family. Yeah, that's um, pulled me through a lot of things and taught me a lot of um, stuff also. So it was, yeah, really my parents that um, are my believers and who I believe in, and that makes me strong. First of all, I always look upon all my elders. I learn from them and uh, ask questions a lot, and that's how I came to like understand everything today because of, of my elders. probably the flag. Yeah. I've seen that, I've been asked and I've been, you know, oh, what's that flag? The Torres Strait Island flag, which was um, uh, made up, that, the Torres Strait flag was done by my um, cousin, Bernard Nemock, the late Bernard Nemock, sorry. Um, yeah, they they didn't know of our flag. Um, also, um, to know where Torres Strait Island is. A lot of people don't know where the Torres Strait Islands are and that we're part of Australia also. Um, we're no different, um, yeah, we're in the waters of Australia, so we're Australians. Um. We do songs and dances that relate to who we are, where we come from. Um, it's, it's important to teach our kids the traditional dancing. It's because of, um, it's about where we come from. It's about who we are. Um, the the we could there could be dances, traditional songs and dances about the sea, songs and dances about um, the land, um, songs and dances about how um, we travel on the ocean, the sea, the boat, the stars. Um, it's everything. Um. Well, I think the main thing is is. Uh, we really, we really, really like to really recognize, um, like, 1st of July, Mab uh, Mabo celebration, and NAIDOC. We've been talked many, many years when my husband was alive, like, to, for government or whatever people to recognize them day for us because we would like them days to go down on a calendar like for all a day for us because
Jingari, which in Yugen Bear means hello. My name is Robin Williams and I'm a proud Mullinjali woman. I actually live and reside in Mount Warren Park, but um, as a proud Mullinjali woman, we're part of the Yugen Bear language region and that goes from Beanley in the north to Tweed in the south. Atabo Desert and parts of Stradbroke Island and my dad was the Mullinjali man and he was from Bow Desert originally. Hey, NADOC week is celebrated Australia wide and it's always the first week of July. It's a time for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people to show their, show their culture, to be proud of their culture and for all of the Austra all of Australians to get to know more about Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. Languages Matters is very um, important to me. As you know, with my mum and dad, they weren't allowed to speak the language when, when we were growing up, so we hardly know our language. But with this, our language matters, we now get the opportunity to find out more about the language. Like with Yugen Bear people, we have our own dictionary, but it would be nice to know more about the languages, and there are so many Australia-wide. So. most proud of any Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander person who achieves their goals. They don't have to become famous, they don't have to even earn gold medals or win rewards as long as they find happiness and peace and, and they love their culture and they're proud to display their culture. To me that's what NADOC is all about. It's really There's two people in my life I know of are my parents. Um, they brought up six kids, and it wasn't, you know, an easy task for them back in the day. As you know, I'm the youngest of six, and my mum and dad, you know, they made they ensured we went to school every day. They made sure there was food on the table. Um, my mum, she was a domestic. She was brought down from Cherbourg as a 12-year-old, and you know, for her to bring up six kids, and we're all well educated and. You know, it's just a wonderful feeling to know that I've had parents that loved us, most definitely. So they were the two that I look up to the most, but I also have um, two beautiful sisters that I, I follow in their footsteps. Um, my late sister Loris and my sister Eileen now, who's in a nursing home. But they, are, they would have to be the, the people I look up to because I've done so much for the Aboriginal community and I'm hoping to follow in their footsteps. We are the First Nations people. We were here first to actually be accepted and um, to actually say yes, we are the first people. Um, the truth has to be told and hopefully we can do it through NADOC Week. I normally go to Musgrove Park on the Friday, but I also go to these other ones that are in Logan and the one at Eagle Bay. Um, Musgrove Park I normally go to because you get to catch up with all old workmates and, and other Indigenous families from across Brisbane. Happy NAIDOC week everybody. Let's celebrate and let's be as one.